Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how I achieved this peachy smoky eye. It's very easy to do and it is definitely my go-to look when I'm going out because I'm super lazy. So let's get started. To start off, I am priming my face with my Too Faced Hangover Primer, which I've been loving because it's very moisturizing. My skin right now is terrible. I'm having hella breakouts, which is so depressing so I have to use my green concealer from L'Oreal to cancel out the redness on my face so I'm just gonna go around my face and pat this on all my breakouts and whatnot so after I put my green concealer on I'm using this Becca highlighter and I'm just gonna put it on the high points on my face and blend it out with my mini real techniques blender for foundation, I'm using my Estee Lauder Double Wear in the shade 20. And I'm just going to apply that with my Real Techniques buffing brush. First, I'm going to kind of buff it on and then I'm going to tap it, like kind of staple it into my skin. That way I get better coverage. Now for guaranteed flawless skin with your foundation, what I like to do is go back and forth between my brush and the beauty blender. So after I apply a level i mean a layer of foundation i'll go in with my beauty blender to make sure it's all blended and then i'll go back in with my brush and then i'll go back to my beauty blender you know you get it so i just go back and forth in between to make sure my foundation is flawless so for these pimples i'm going to use this anastasia beverly hills concealer in the shade 2.0 and i'm just going to pat that on the areas that weren't quite covered up with my foundation So for these under eyes, girl, I'm going to be using my NYX Above and Beyond Porcelain Concealer with this little concealer brush. And I just added a drop of argan oil to get it nice and creamy. And I'm just going to pat that underneath my eyes so it can brighten up that area and make me look awake, darling. Now to highlight these areas, I'm going to be using my Kat Von D Concealer in the shade, I think it's warm, yes, warm. And I'm just going to apply that under my eyes, you know, the bridge of my nose, uh, under my cheekbones, and this is just to highlight my face and bring out all the things that I want to bring out. Now to contour my face, I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit in the shade Java with my Real Technique, Technique <laughs> Angled Foundation Brush. I'm just going to use it to contour my face. And when I'm doing this, I'm blending my contour upwards in little light motions. And of course, I go back in with my Beauty Blender to ensure flawlessnessity. Now, nose contour, don't laugh at me, y'all, but I'm still working on my process, so I'm in a trial and error stage. I'm trying different things that work for me, so this is not going to be perfect whatsoever. To set the areas that I highlighted, I'm using my Maybelline Superstay Better Skin in the shade number 10 with a dry mini Real Techniques blender. And I'm just going to put a small amount on all the areas that we just highlighted. To set my entire face, I'm using my Kat Von D Loose Powder with a big fluffy brush from Real Techniques. And I'm just going to lightly pat that over my entire face. Now to start the eyes, yeah, I'm going to use my Lorac Primer with this brush which I have no idea what the name is or where it came from but I'm just using it to apply my primer. So for this look we're using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palettes and we're going to start with the shade Warm Taupe as our transition color in the crease. I'm going to use the Sedona Lace 863 brush and just do some windshield wiper motions and just throw it right in my crease.
Next, I'm taking burnt orange with this Coastal Scents pointed brush, and I'm just going to apply that to the entire lid area. After applying this, I'm just going to go in with my 863 brush with Sedona Lace and blend out all the edges. The next shade we're using is Real Gar. I don't know if that's how you say it, but that's how I'm going to say it. With my Sedona Lace EB09 brush, I'm just going to smudge that or rub that all over the lid area. And of course, to blend the edges, I'm going back with my H63 brush and just making it very smoky. Next color is called Cypress Umber and I'm going to be using this very tiny square eyeliner brush from Real Techniques. And I'm just going to smudge that into my lash lines to give me more definition on my eye shape. For the lower lash line, I'm using the 904 brush from Sedona Lace with the color Rio Gar, which is what we use on the lid. I'm just going to smudge that all over. The lashes I use are from um, Ardell. I apologize that I don't know the name, but I know there's some sort of wispy. The blush I'm using today is a cream blush from How About Them Apples palettes called Caramel, and I'm just going to use my Sedona Lace angled brush and just put that all over my cheekbone. For my highlighter today, I'm using my Too Faced Ray of Light highlighter with my Real Technique brush. And I'm just going to be putting that on the high points on my face, including my cheekbones, verge of my nose, my cupid's bow, and just make my face look glossy. I'm now going to just set my face with my Mario Badescu spray. Love this stuff. And now I'm going to move on to the lips. I'm using Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Lolita. That's it, we're all done. Didn't I tell you it was gonna be super easy to do? You see, you can use this for any occasion, whether it be daytime, nighttime, whatever you wanna use it for. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to subscribe and like the video, and if you have any questions, definitely leave them down below, and I'll answer you as soon as possible. Love you guys, and as always, stay envious and stay beautiful. Mwah.